If you like my art, it is available on a bunch of different products over at my Redbubble store, art prints, t-shirt, tote bags, stickers and so on. Also, if you enjoy my videos, I would be super happy if you could subscribe to my channel. I truly appreciate the support, so thank you. Hi everyone! You guys, I found another new art supply. Imagine if a color pencil and a mechanical pencil would have a baby together. Well, you don't have to imagine because here it is, the mechanical color pencil. And yes, I have been using mechanical pencils with colored lead for quite a while now. These are the Pilot Color Inno pencils and I use them a lot for sketching. I think that is what they're made for really because the lead is very fine. It is the normal size of a mechanical pencil 0.7 but since it is so fine, it isn't really made for coloring larger pieces, I think. While these ones got much thicker lead, the lead in these these ones are 2 millimeters, so it is more than double the size as these color Eno pencils. I just found these while I was searching for something else over at Amazon's, and I'm not sure if these are supposed to come in some sort of packaging. This one just arrived in a Ziploc bag with some extra refill lids, and I don't know if it is beneficial having a color pencil in shape of a mechanical pencil. One thing that I can imagine being beneficial is that you don't have to sharpen the pencil, so maybe this is just a gimmick, I don't know, but I just thought it would be fun to try it out because trying out new art supplies is what I do. So they are actually numbered, but it is a little bit of a weird color order, so I'm just gonna arrange them myself. All right, the moment of truth. We just got the black one so far, but it feels a little waxy to be honest, but I'm just gonna swatch the other ones too and see what they looks like. Seems like the lead is a little shy in this one. Well, this one seems to be broken. The lead won't come out. Oops. The whole thing popped out of the barrel, but now it seems like it is working. Let's see if we can put it together again. Yeah, now it seems like it's working. But yeah, here they are, all of them, when I finally got the purple one to work. But yeah, it is a pretty decent variety of colors. We even got some skin tones. And the blue one is a lot darker than what I thought it would be. The green as well. They got a little bit of a dry, waxy consistency. They are very shiny. So they're not the best color pencils I've ever tried. To be fair, they were actually quite cheap, so but it looks vibrant and colorful, so I can't really complain about that. Also, let's see how they erase and blend. The blending is okay, I think. It isn't the best, but they do actually blend together. And it also works okay to layer the colors and erasing. Not the easiest to erase, but to be fair, color pencils aren't that easy to erase. They get a little smudgy though, and it leaves a lot of these little pigment crumbs all over the paper. But yeah, they behave just like decent, cheap color pencils. I'm curious to see what these pencils looks like compared to normal color pencils, so I did a side-to-side -side comparison. I have no idea if these zebra pencils are wax or oil-based, but I am comparing them to the oil-based Faber-Castell Polychromos. The Polychromos definitely feels a little softer and less dry than the zebra pencils, and as you can see, the Polychromos, they look a lot more solid, like the they're gripping the fibers of the paper a lot better, doing a little bit of an awkward gradient blending, but I think the Polychromos pigments are blending together a lot better than the Zebra. 
And a quick little eraser test that shows that the polychromos are easier to erase. However, there is a big difference in the price between these pencils, so it isn't really that fair to compare them. But I have to say that the cheaper Zebra pencils are holding up really well to the more professional, expensive pencils. Let's try these out properly by making some art and we'll see how they are to make a whole artwork with. So yeah, let's do that. Starting with a little eye mushroom, I mean, what else? Something that I always notice with color pencils, no matter what brand it is, the first five minutes into drawing, I always get cramps in my hand, and I don't know if it is because I press a little harder than usual when drawing with color pencils. I guess I do, since the more I press, the more saturated the colors get, but when drawing with color pencils, I really try try to start lighter to more easily blend the colors and then I go in with more pressure and I try to saturate the color more and more. As I mentioned, these pencils, they are kind of blendable, but to be honest, they are not the easiest or best at blending. It feels like the pigments just sit on top of each other more than they want to mix together. But what I do really like with these pencils is how vibrant they actually are. As I mentioned before, these are cheap pencils. I got 10 pencils along with 2 packs of refills with 10 pieces of lead in each, which basically gives me 20 additional pencils, all of that for only $8, while the polychromos that I compared these pencils to before are about $23 for a set of 12. So I would say that for that price, they are quite decent. Heck, they are actually pretty good. For this next piece, I went in with bolder, more pigmented colors straight away. I wanted a bright, flat color for this Happy Kitty. I really like the purpley outlines with a yellow and orange, so cute and colorful. One of the purposes of doing a larger flat area in one color was to see how it worked to not have to sharpen the pencil nib. The nib gets flat, just as on a regular pencil, but instead of leaving me with a stump of wood, which is what happens when the nib gets flat on a pencil and you have to sharpen it, but instead I could just push out new lead. But also, it is harder to get a very sharp fine point with these pencils as you can do when sharpening regular pencils, but I noticed that I could just rotate the pencil to find a sharper edge on the nib to draw with, which also worked really well. But then also, something that I always struggle with when sharpening pencils is that the nibs sometimes tend to fall off or break off more easily, and then I have to sharpen it even more and I waste a whole lot of the pencil. But with these mechanical pencils, I have to say that the lead, it feels very sturdy. I didn't break the lead one single time, even if I were quite heavy handed from time to time. So that really impressed me, but I think what I struggled the most with was to mix and blend the colors. I tried to do a purple background by mixing the blue and pink, and with some color pencils you can actually get a pretty decent blending, but as I mentioned before, it feels like the pigments in these pencils, they prefer to just sit on top of each other more than mixing together. However, I do really like the effect that it creates.
Lastly, I wanted to try the skin tones and I went with a lighter one in this piece because I feel like there were a lot more options to shade and color with a lighter tone. And again, I went with a purpley pink color for the outlines. I'm really happy I got that pencil to work before because I used it a lot in these pieces. I did a lot of blending for this drawing and as I mentioned before they are not the best at blending but I think you can still layer them pretty well to shade and I think it worked really well to make a decent skin tone. I layered brown, pink and purple and as long as you don't saturate the colors too much they layered quite nicely. So to get some sort of conclusion, I actually really enjoyed these pencils, but are they useful or just a gimmick? Well, maybe a little gimmicky to be honest, I suppose there is a reason to why color pencils are mostly manufactured the way they are, as wooden pencils. But I really liked that I didn't have to sharpen them and that the nib didn't break not once. There aren't a lot of colors in this set and they are not the best quality, but I think for the price they are just great. They are bright and pigmented, a lot better than other cheap color pencils that I've tried before that probably were a lot more expensive than these ones. So I went into this thinking that it would most definitely be a gimmicky thing, but everything took an unexpected turn and I am not mad about that. Let me know if there are any other gimmicky art supplies out there that you think I should try out. Also, I need to show you, this is how much lead I used up for the colors that I used the most for these pieces. Almost nothing at all. With all the refills, I am pretty sure that these pencils will last me a long time. But yeah, here we have them, bright and colorful. I really like how all of these turned out, especially the kitty, of course. Let me know which one you like the most. Hope you enjoy this video and the art. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope I will see you next time. Keep drawing, my happy cats. Bye!